<laughs> Welcome back. Turning to Utah's Weather Authority tonight, meteorologist Breck Bolton. Breck, a beautiful day for most of the state. And then tomorrow again, I mean, temps ramping up again in northern Utah. I mentioned that tomorrow, warmest day of the week and a great forecast on tap where we bring in the sunshine high pressure building in. And we salvaged the weekend, as I mentioned, at least for today where we had clear skies. I want to just show, though, we get a lot of photos from the full moon last night. We call it the pink moon, that Easter full moon. I was quite surprised we got so many photos. You know, we had those rain showers moving in just after 10 o'clock last night, so you're able to capture that quickly as that moon was rising. And right now, you can get out outside even though it's not a quite a full moon you kind of can see on the right of your screen that moon coming over the peak of the Wasatch Mountains so get out and enjoy it but not until I'm done with my weather cast then you can go outside let's take a look at your current temperatures 54 degrees a few high clouds around winds light as we look ahead precipitation outlook not so promising, but we're looking out six to 10 days where we're going to start turning with high pressure for an extended period of time means below average rainfall here across the state. But again, that's six to 10 days out until that point. We've got a couple of storms that we need to talk about that look to bring some rain to the area, especially with the first one coming across northern Utah. So washing your car got dirty last week. Of course, yesterday you had the rain showers. You could wash it tomorrow. If you get it in the garage early evening tomorrow, you should be okay. But we will see some showers tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. And then once that moves on, then we'll keep it clear up until about Friday where we bring another storm back into the area. Now, for the uh, looking at your satellite radar, a few high clouds for northern Utah. Even seen maybe just some sprinkles near the Utah-Idaho border. But it will be good for tonight. It will be seeing those clouds moving away. We see the sunshine in your forecast as that high pressure brings in that warmer air keeps us clear that next storm though again on the way it looks like Tuesday evening Wednesday morning that's another period at least for northern Utah down to about Nephi bringing a chance of rain and snow up in the mountains but for tomorrow I mentioned the sunshine and look at these temperatures as they'll quickly climb we start off in the 40s we're already into the 60s before we head into the lunch hour again as a reminder we should be in the low 60s for afternoon highs but here you go we'll hit 75 for Salt Lake City and 70s along the Wasatch Front, upper 60s at Logan. Many spots in the mid to upper 70s there through central Utah. 80s in Bullfrog, Moab as well, and close to 90 degrees in St. George. So it'll be a little bit cooler on Tuesday with some clouds. And then looks like 80 degrees Wednesday, Thursday. Then the storm hits, brings in a cold front. We drop temperatures. I'll give you a chance of rain Friday, at least for St. George, northern Utah. We'll see two storms, one that hits into the uh, Tuesday evening through Wednesday morning, clearing out. Then we see some showers Thursday, Friday into Saturday. That'll put some more snow up in the mountains, bring temperatures down. So we're bringing the spring weather and we're not bringing winter back, but some nice temperatures expected for tomorrow.